guys and welcome to another studio vlog so I've just set up got my laptop on Mike is in the other studio getting to work on your orders I've actually been up since half four today last night I made the fatal mistake of stroking my cat fluffy before bed and then touching my eyes and I ended up just having really sore and swollen eyes this morning so hence the lack of eye makeup um, they're really really sore and then I woke up sneezing and stuff and couldn't get back to sleep so I've actually been awake since half four this morning so excuse me if it gets a little crazy in here I have had my morning coffee so hopefully that should sort me out anyway today it's my dad's birthday and I was thinking it'd be cute to do a new greetings card the other day I found a photo of him and it was so so funny because his head was all like squished we kind of have like round heads like both of us and he looked like a little dumpling and I <laughs> messaged him saying that he looked like a dumpling and um I actually have a dumpling character in my shop as like an art print I did an illustration like a year ago and then I was thinking it would be really cute for his birthday to create a custom greetings card and obviously make it available in my Etsy store as well because I really want to work on getting more card designs anyway that was one of my February goals even though it's right at the end of January but Either way, we're starting early here. Uh, so I thought it would be really, really cute to do kind of like a daddy dumpling, that's what he called himself afterwards. Um, little greetings card or something. It'd also be cute for things like um, Father's Day and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna illustrate. So I have actually got an original dumpling that I have already illustrated. And that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna illustrate some sort of fun, cute dumpling yeah layout i also today want to try out making paper bookmarks now if this dumpling goes well i could try and make some cute dumpling bookmarks at the moment what i do for my bookmarks is i sublimate them i heat press a lot of mine so i have to print out the design backwards with sublimation paper sublimation inks i then have to tape down all the metal bookmarks remove the film first of all then tape them down then heat press them and there's always stuff that could go wrong and the reason that i'm thinking that i'm going to do paper ones is because so many things literally went wrong with the last batch that i did it ended up being around six bookmarks that were totally unusable and it was just such a waste and sublimation in general can always go wrong like this and it's so frustrating because it's just it can be just such a pain and also to get my money's worth and the profit i have to then put them at a higher price point which is like who wants to pay like over six pound for a bookmark but that's what i kind of have to put them at to make it worth my while to do them so then i thought i wonder if i could make some paper bookmarks so my paper actually arrived yesterday i ordered 300 gsm of this satin uh ultra pearlescent actually it was called by marrot i'll show you that later on i'll do a little unboxing and everything uh, i've never used this paper before but i have used marrot photography paper sorry about the background noise the electricians are all coming in to start work first of all let's do a little dumpling illustration for my dad and happy birthday dad because i know sometimes he watches his studio vlogs let's go shall we this is not cute oh my gosh my eyes are very swollen I've been charging my pencil. <laughs> I always charge my pencil if I know I'm going to be illustrating. I want to do like a baby dumpling and then a dad dumpling. So let's get into it. my design and this is what I came up with so this little dumpling is like stretching on her feet like trying to be a little taller a little wiser and the dad dumpling is like he'll get there eventually <laughs> so I think that'll be really cute as a little card I like how it turns out 
I don't know, there's something cute about dumplings, am I right? So I'm probably gonna go through to the next room and print this bad boy out. But first of all, I've got a studio vlog to edit, so I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay. I'm back from the editing cave. I have finished editing my studio vlog, which hopefully will go up next week. This week, by the time, you know what I mean, last week, last week's studio vlog. And now I'm going to make some greeting cards. So I'm gonna put that um, dumpling illustration on to Photoshop. And then I'm gonna quickly just show you how I lay out my greeting cards and how I print them. Excuse me, I am talking right now. I'm really excited to see how this one turns out because I think it's really cute. So this is what my greeting card template looks like on my screen. I just have it set up for the size of my greetings cards, which is A6. I print on recycled cardstock, 100% recycled cardstock, which I actually get off a seller off eBay and I really really like the quality it's super smooth and I like that it's 100% recycled so I just basically have a guide set up down the middle here and this is what I do and I have this little blocked out area which I use as a clipping mask and then I've just got some details here so I'm gonna put the dumpling on to Photoshop so here we have it on the screen all I do is create a clipping mask to my little template that I've got set up and I'll load my greeting card stock into the printer and we'll get it all printed also the greeting card paper that I've actually got oh my gosh it is an actual mess down here how embarrassing just ignore it I'm running pretty low actually now that I think about it I need to order some more but it's actually pre-scored so it's got oh it's so bright one second it's pre-scored so I literally feed it into the printer and then I just fold it so I'm gonna print off a few because I think I'll sell these in my Etsy store let's do a test print first to make sure that the colors look all nice oh hi Mike hello are you back from I am. The post office. Taking yeah. all the goodies. Yay. <laughs> I then got a file print and I actually have a print setting that I created dedicated to the greeting cards which is just called a6 greeting cards we'll save that and it should look something like this Ta-da! and I'll just press print and see how it turns out just finished uh, creating three different versions of the card because I thought it's not fair on the mums out there who also want a little dumpling card so I created a mum version and basically oh, I said version really weird then uh, basically I got rid of the eye bags I put one to the side so you can see the difference uh, just to make it a little bit more feminine I got rid of the little under eyes and I also added some little lips to her like colour to her lips and made her eyebrows a little thinner so that's the mum version it just says mum you the best which is really really cute and it's good because that can then go for like you know all occasions it can be like birthday or mother's day etc etc and then i've also got the dad you the best so i'm gonna have that on my store as well again so it can be flexible it doesn't have to be just about birthdays and stuff and then i've got happy birthday dad so these cards i need to list in my etsy store but first i'm gonna make uh, like a few batches of them and i want to try why i'm here i've got some tracing paper that arrived i've also got some navy card as you know i'm trying to ship 
shift to plastic free, uh, plastic free wrapping like this, but there will be an option so you can either choose to have plastic or choose to have it naked. Um, but I bought some card online, some like dark blue card because that's what I thought looked nicer. But I also bought some tracing paper and I forgot that I bought, bought the tracing paper. So I'm going to actually package them up and see what looks better, the navy one or the tracing paper band. So let's do that, shall we? experimenting with the packaging I actually purchased some smaller pre-cut labels online these are I think there's 48 labels per sheet on these ones um, and I've just experimented they look a little nicer because they're a little smaller I'll show you what they were like before so this was the other ones they were a little large and we printed this color card ourselves because we just wanted to see what it looked like and as you can see it's huge so i wanted to get like a smaller option so we got these little small dinky ones i also think it's good because it's less paper waste because you actually get more labels per sheet so i'm actually thinking of changing all my labels like my giant catnip ones to these ones and then you would use a lot less paper in the long run anyway uh this is what it looks like i actually think i like the tracing paper better but let me know in the comments which you prefer so this is the navy blue card can you see looks pretty fancy and then this is the tracing paper there's something so nice about tracing paper don't ask me what it is but maybe the texture or something i don't know i just absolutely love tracing paper obviously this is a little shoddily done i'll do it a little neater than this but i think i like the tracing paper better i don't know i can't I can't work out but I'll probably switch between the two because I've got plenty of uh, tracing paper and card so when one runs out I'll probably switch to the other because look at all of this navy card that I've got um, so it'll need using somehow but yeah I think they turned out pretty cute which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the navy or do you prefer the tracing paper one? really looking forward to going back to camp. Like, why would I giggle? I don't know, you never giggle like that. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was so scared, that's like, like what is happening? Wow, that's why. And then after he... The recent events in Hong Kong have sort of ignited this new found passion in Natalie. Yeah, it's actually mostly recycling and Hello guys and happy Thursday. The bright, oh, the light is shining so bright in my eyes. I'm so sorry about that. It's really, really sunny. I need to get my blinds fixed because all the slats are kind of just like letting loads of light in and they don't close properly anymore. Anyway, uh, I had to abruptly stop my time lapse of creating my greeting cards wrapping yesterday. So the last thing you've seen was me packaging 
oh I'm getting blinded by the sun was me packaging these greeting cards and I had to stop because I got a call off the delivery driver who was at my house saying that they were unexpectedly dropping my bed off and can they leave it outside the front door and um, I did ask them if they could just wait 10 minutes for me to like arrive to the house and like let them in but they basically said no because they're running late for a delivery so I had to pack everything up turn everything off and go home because the bed was just outside my front door very very odd me and Dean purchased the super king bed off Amazon it was super cheap it is like 389 pound but it's actually all right it's not the best quality I would say but for the price for a super king bed I thought it was pretty good value and uh it takes up the whole of the bedroom so we've had a double bed for like seven years and we haven't felt the need to like upgrade or anything but Dean moves around a lot in his sleep and we <laughs> when we went to Florida there was queen size beds and it made a huge difference when I slept personally I had much better night's sleep and I didn't realize it was because of Dean waking me up all the time but he moves around a lot he also grinds his teeth and I'm a very 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 light sleeper so I wake up multiple times during the night so we have been saying that we wanted this super king bed for ages and then I seen this one on Amazon which was really cute and really pink but it is so big for our small house we have like a tiny two bedroomed house and it is so big like the side tables no longer fit in the house anymore like in the sides of the beds anymore so we're gonna have to get some really small side tables because I like to have my kindles and my books on the side table anyway that's what we did yesterday so everything was kind of just left the way it was I just turned off all the plugs um so I just need to finish packing up these greeting cards which I'll do now also got a super exciting delivery of these midliners for my bullet journal and these came from Japan I ordered these off eBay and honestly the packaging is so so nice I don't know why I keep touching it it's like this zigzaggy pattern and for some reason it reminds me of when I used to get like new stationery when I used to start school and my favourite thing of starting school again I was so excited because every year I would get like a fresh new pencil case with fresh new pens and that was like my favourite part and all new planners and we'd also get a new diary for school to plan out the week ahead like our homework and our like schedule for the lessons and stuff so this like brings me back to my school days I think that's why I like like journaling for some reason I've always oh sorry I've always really really enjoyed like stationery and pens and organizing stuff and it also came with this really nice little wallet to keep it in and this is super soft inside and I want to use this little stamp because it's come from Tokyo it's come from Tokyo it's come from Kyoto in Japan I want to cut this out and stick it in my bullet journal so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna package up the greetings card so let's get into the working day and today I also want to try and do some bookmarks I forgot to mention as well I put on Instagram which um, back in strip you like the best in tracing paper won by 77% so thank you so much to everyone who voted for the tracing paper like I said I don't want the navy paper to go to waste so when the tracing paper eventually runs out we'll run out the navy paper and then we'll go back to tracing paper because it looks pretty cool but we have a lot of tracing paper so yeah I just really like the way they look they look really cute but they do take a lot longer to make than what they used to with that but yeah thanks
But yeah, eventually you saw me just being myself and then being really fashionable. Hell so. yeah. I've just finished rearranging all my greetings cards because it was kind of inconvenient. They were in this like um, acrylic case that I used to take to conventions to display my enamel pins on. And they were like, you could only really fit like three by the time they're like folded and ready to ship off. Because when you fold them and you ship them, they take a considerable amount of space up. But we do like to have some pre-made so it's quicker and easier to do orders. Um, it might be the case in the future to just print them out unfolded and then when it comes to sending them off then packaging them I'm not sure they're not very big sellers so I don't know it just seems a bit unnecessary you know having stockpiles of prints that don't sell that fast like greeting cards so anyway we had them in this and it was working for a while but because I want more greeting card ranges I've went and did all this i was feeling inspired from visiting lindsay's organized studio the other week um and this is how we actually do our stickers and how we manage all our stickers uh, they're all in like these and it was thanks to you guys who actually recommended them they're all in like different things uh different like colored boxes that i found lying around but we are getting like a shelving unit here the shape of this room is really really odd like it's not a square room it's at weird angles so you can't fit anything in anywhere and i have a spare shelving unit that used to be at home which is now gonna go here so hopefully we can have all these on the shelving units and we've also got some new pin storage coming which is similar to Lindsay's, and i'll show you that when it finally arrives but first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on etsy and change the listings because i've created different listings like we do with the stickers like easter 001 and we also have easter 002 which is sold out um so i'm gonna yeah get to work on listing those in my shop and changing it to the end so what i normally do with my stickers is i name them like isa or one isa or two etc etc and i add that to the end of the listing so then when we're packaging the products we know what code is for what product and we can just flick through using the system and find the correct sticker pack so that's what i'm going to do now on etsy and i'll catch up with you in a little bit it's currently 22 minutes past 11 so still plenty of time to do some bookmarks so super excited so i'm just designing some bookmarks and i thought i'd use some old designs that i've already got because i've just got some designs sat in procreate not really doing anything and this tea enamel pin is actually one of the best sellers in my store so i thought it'd be cute to try out a paper bookmark and i always tend to read books when i'm like chilling on a night so i thought it'd be cute to yeah have this so Okay, so now what I've done is I've just put this file, exported it as a transparent PNG, put it into Cricut, and I'm just about to print it on Cricut. And this is the paper that I'm going to be using. It's a 300 GSM Ultra Pearlescent High White paper, and I got this off Amazon in case anyone wants to know where I got it from. Um, I haven't actually seen it yet. I think it's slightly like satin so I wanted a thick kind of thick paper it doesn't feel that thick actually it says it's 300 gsm but I don't know that feels pretty thin to me to be honest okay so this is the final result I don't know and I really wanted to add a tassel but 300 gsm it's just too thin and i just think that if i get a thicker cardstock that it's not definitely not going to be thick enough i really don't understand because normally 300 is like a lot thicker than this okay so after thinking about it for a while i think i actually quite like it but i think i won't add tassels to these so it seems quite thin but it's still 300 gsm but the thing that's getting me is the print quality is exceptional like it is really nice print quality. I don't know if you can see on camera. So let me know in the comments if it would bother you um, it being a little thinner. But it's like a satin paper. And I don't know. It just 
it just feels really nice quality and if it's going in sketchbooks and bookmark like books I don't think the thinness will matter I think I'm comparing it too much to my metal ones and obviously I'm not going to get a card thickness that's that thick in a metal one but this feels really nice quality despite it being thinner than usual but it's still a nice thick paper material so let me know in your comments your thought of that i think i'll get rid of the dots so it'll just kind of be like this hello my beautiful patrons and welcome to another coffee beans podcast today we're going to talk all about planning how i feel about bullet journaling why i had a lot of reservations about it and basically what i've been up to and new product ideas for the next couple of weeks so let's just jump straight into it shall we don't cry <laughs> <coughs> Hello guys and happy Friday, we've got Emily in the studio today and basically yesterday I went through a mad bookmark making spree. Now I wanted to use the paper and I didn't want to waste it, I think I am going to eventually get them professionally printed uh, but for now I'm going to list these cheaper in my store so anyone who purchases them will know that it's on 300 gsm paper uh, rather than the 400 that i'm going to get professionally made for me because my printer won't feed 400 card through plus i couldn't find a really good quality paper however i absolutely love the quality of these bookmarks like i absolutely love the print and everything it's just i think the thickness of a bookmark needs to be a little sturdier although what do you think emily i actually really like them to be fair. Emily really likes them, but do you know when you just have that niggle where you're like, oh, I'm not sure about them. Anyway, I'll show you the different designs. At least now I've got some designs already made and I can just send them off to the printers and get them printed. I'm actually thinking of buying the ones that are a bit more premium with like a velvet coating on them. Uh, but this is them. And this is the bookmarks. Oh, it's a little bright up in here. And yeah, so we've got it's time for tea oh no time to take rest but as you can see 300 gsm is still a really good quality paper stock and the print on them oh my gosh i wish i could explain how nice the print looks the paper is a very 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 slightly if you look very closely textured and they just look so pretty and then we've got this one which i really really like this one i'm not sure what it is about it but I think it looks really pretty. This is an old illustration of mine, but I really like kind of the pencil sketches and the sketchiness of it. So we've got that one. We have a Dango one, which looks cute. We have a poison apple. And it says the apple never falls far from the tree. I thought this would be really cool for people who love like fantasy books and stuff. Then we've got this milk one. It's funny on a geary one that is both mine and Emily's favourite mm. one. I just, I was playing around with the designs and it kind of just looks like an onigiri army. And I thought that would look really, really cute in like sketchbooks and journals and stuff. And then I have the princess one, which I've just released as a draw this in your style challenge. Um, I really like this. This is how I want to look on my wedding day. Obviously without the extra marshmallow fluff that I'm holding, I'll probably have a little bit extra fluffy sides to me. And then we've got this one, another draw this in your style challenge. That I did at 80k or 70k. This definitely was 70k actually. And then the final one is this little moon one. And I really, really like the colours in this one. It just looks really pretty. Yeah, the colours are really nice. So that's what I kind of did yesterday. And then I did the Patreon podcast and uploaded that. And I ended up being home around half six, seven o'clock. So we definitely don't have enough. <laughs> need to walk with you like that. Climb over the table. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna list them on my Etsy store. There's only around um, 20 of each I've made because I want I didn't want to waste the paper and I kind of just went on a mad spree because I really really like how they look. I just don't like the thinness, thinness of it. As 300, like I say, 300 GSM is still quite a heavy paperweight, especially for things like art prints and stuff. As an all, let me know your thoughts. And if you purchase a bookmark off me that is one of these, I would love to know your thoughts on them. And if you could message me how you feel about them and if the thinness is too much for you, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, but I think I'm just going to see how these go and see how they sell. And if they sell well, then I think I'll get them professionally printed. And... But then if I get loads of 
comments about them being nice as they are then I don't know we might keep them the same so these will be on my Etsy store by the time you're watching this and they'll be going up for a cheaper price than usual so if you want to grab them the link is in the description to my Etsy store. Anyway, I'm going to end the studio vlog here, guys, because it's Friday. Me and Emily are going to go for coffee. And yeah. Emily, you're also coming around my house for Beat Saber tonight, Oh, uh, yeah. I've also got a double bed that you can sleep in now. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm it's weird, because with Beat Saber, I'll be really, really good at some point. And then, like, last night I went on it and I couldn't do the songs <laughs> I could normally do. I, I don't know why. I was... I kept, like hitting them delayed like it was really weird i don't know yeah. anyway i'm gonna go now all right then i love you thanks so much for watching love Bye. you goodbye